Hello everyone, welcome to today's edition of Book Break. I'm Miss Ada and I'm gonna be reading a book I really love today. And that book is called Extra Yarn. It was written by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Claussen, and it was published in 2012 by Hopper Collins. And as you can see, it won a Caldecott Honor Award. And it's a really fun story. On a cold afternoon in a cold little town where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black of soot from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. Town looks pretty bleak, doesn't it? So she went home and knit herself a sweater. And when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. So she knit a sweater for Mars too. You see who Mars is? Can you tell? Yeah, it's her dog. But there was still extra yarn. And when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, you two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. But it turned out he was. And even after she'd made a sweater for Nate and his dog and for herself and Mars, she still had, what is it? That's right, extra yarn. I think you know why they named the book this, right? <laughs> At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her sweater. Quiet, said Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone. Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabelle said, so they won't have to turn around. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turned out she could, and she did, even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had Yep, extra yarn. So she knit sweaters for her mom and dad and for Mr. Pendleton and Mrs. Pendleton and for Dr. Palmer and for little Louie. She made sweaters for everyone, except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore sweaters or even long pants, and who would stand in his shorts with the snow up to his knees. No sweater for me, thanks, said Mr. Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat, and even then, Annabelle still had yep, extra yarn. She made sweaters for all the dogs and all the cats and for other animals too. Soon people thought, soon Annabelle will run out of yarn. But it turned out she didn't. So Annabelle made sweaters for things that didn't even wear sweaters. begin to change in that little town. So look a little bit more colorful and cheerful. News 
spread of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn. And people came to visit from around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day, an archduke, who was very fond of clothes, sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. Little girl, said the archduke, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I am willing to offer you one million dollars. No, thank you, said Annabelle, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. The Archduke's mustache twitched. Two million, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No, thanks. Ten million, shouted the Archduke. Ten million, take it or leave it. Leave it, said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. So that night, the Archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabelle's house. And they stole the box. And took it to the Archduke, who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea. back to his castle. The Archduke put on his favorite song and sat in his best chair. Then he took out the box and as he lifted its lid and he looked inside. What do you suppose he saw? Mm. What do you see in the box? <gasps> He eats, it's empty. Uh, his mustache quivered. It shivered. It trembled. The Archduke hurled the box out the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You will never be happy again. But, do you see what's going on in this picture here? Take a close look. happening here. It turned out she was. She's pretty happy to me. <laughs> I think those animals look pretty happy too. The end.